One of the most common questions I get about Tableau is when should I use joins and when should I use blends? Well, let's talk about that in this video. Let's go. Here we are for another video. And if this is your first time here at Jellyman Education, be sure to subscribe because I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and this ensures that you don't miss out on any of them. So let's begin where I always begin, which is the data set. And you're going to want to download this one right this is a important one so i get this question i get this question a lot right about um which one should you use and people to get tend to get confused and to be honest i'd say most of the time nine times out of ten you're probably going to use a join right and my kind of rule of thumb is if you're trying to get it working with a join and it still doesn't work and you're getting all sorts of errors and issues and values are going nuts then you probably need a blend right but very rarely unless you're super experienced like me right you could kind of recognize ahead of time oh that's a blend problem or that's a join problem um, but typically you can use a join do the validation if it doesn't come out correctly then you know something is going wrong um, so how do we actually choose let's say you're in my position and you kind of understand the theory behind it how do you go about choosing well let's do an example of trying to really understand what happens when you blend what happens when you join okay so here we are in excel and i've got some sample data here when we do a join okay and this is what we call a many to many so many to many relationship okay so this is data set one d1 let's call it and this is data set two d2 and whenever we join what tableau tries to do oh well actually what any join tries to do in any system is for the fields that we're, we're joining with, so in this case, it's going to be name, it tries to connect as many as it can, right? The maximum number of connections it can possibly do. So it's going to go Jed to Jed. That's one connection. Same one, Jed to Jed, Jed to Jed, Jed to Jed. So that's four rows of data straight away. Then I do the next one. It goes, uh, let's clear that. Then I do the next row. It goes one, two, three, four. So even though I started with two here and four here, I now have eight rows of data. Well, what does that look like? In um, the final result, it'll actually look like this. So I'll have, yeah, pretend there's like a black line here. It's two separate analysis. Pretend I have this one, and that'll duplicate four times. And then I'll have this, and that goes like that. Okay, And then I'll have the other one repeat again, and then this one will go right next to it with this duplicating. Now, this is a bit of a problem um, for certain types of data sets, because now if I say, you know, what is the total sales? What is the total quantity? Okay, the real answer in this particular case is 70. That's the total sales for JIT. If I add up this one, it's 205. Actually, we'll get to join in a second. But the answer to this is 70. But now if I sum up this one, look at my answer, 280. It's actually blown up. So you can very quickly, even small data like this, it went from 70 all the way to 280, like four times increase. Okay. If you look at the same one here, the quantity is 37. But here, because we're creating duplicates, it's 74. And that is just a property of a join that it will always try and match out as many as it can. Same thing for the, for John. And you can qu very quickly calculate how many rows of data you'll generate. It's simply three times four so 12 rows of data so what we're going to do next is uh, bring this into tableau and then we're going to um, kind of compare excel and tableau so we'll kind of go back and forth so let's load it up and we're going to do something a little bit different in this one in that we're going to set up two connections that's right i said two so let's bring in that data set and the first connection i'm going to do is uh, sales then we're going to do a join. So the way we do a join is we can go open, right? So clicking on that triangle. So now we're in join mode. We're going to bring in quantity. And we're just going to do an inner join in this case. And straight away, you can see from the data here, look how big it is. There's only like, was it eight plus five? There's only 13 rows of data. And you can see that there's like 20 rows now. Okay. Um, so already I know it's wrong. So let's call this um, join. And the reason it's wrong, by the way, I should mention, is that um, these two uh, data sets are indeed separate. Yeah, We're not actually trying to 
necessarily merge them, but some of the fields are, need to be connected for, let's say, our purpose. Okay, so that's our first connection join. And then I'm going to load that up again. Let's drop that in again. And we're going to do now a blend. So I'm going to do sales. And instead of opening it up, we're going to drop in quantity. We're going to join. Oh, we're going to blend on the name. And let's, all right, yes, I'm fine with that. And then blend. Oops, that's blend like so. And we're going to go sheet one. All right, now let's do some testing. The total sales for, um, for this is 70 for me and 205. So really, the answer should be 275. So let's do a test. So using the join, if I bring in sales, look what happens. 1,100. And that is because of all those duplicates being generated on the join. What if I do the same thing using the blend data set now? And let's bring in sales, 275. So how is it actually doing this? Well, what Tableau is doing when you have a blend, they're not actually connected, right? They're still separate. In fact, when you open up this view data right here, you can see they're actually separate still, and you will always treat them separately. It's uh, the way it comes in is based on how you've done your visualization. So I'll give you an example. Let's say I'm um, going back to join, right? I wanted to have for the name, total sales and total quantity for a name. So if I bring in the name and I bring in sales and I bring in quantity, just dropping on top of the numbers, you can see that is my values, which we know is incorrect, right? Because the total quantity for Jed, for example, is 37, which you, you can't see, but it's 37. Um, and then for John, it is 26. You can see it's completely blown it out. Um, and obviously these ones are a lot less. Now let's do the same thing. I'm gonna do a new sheet, but this time with a blend. So we bring in the name, okay? And let's bring in the sales from this one and bring in the quantity from this one. All right, and look what's happened now. Okay, let me bring this over. This has actually preserved the data in two separate data sets. So here you have total sales for uh, Jed, 70. So we've got 70 right there. Okay, and then here you have 205, 205. Quantity for Jed is 37, 37, and this one's 26. 26. So you can see it has preserved the data set. So just think about if you want to be able to combine the visualization, but you don't want to create a consolidated data set, then you're probably looking at a blend. The other way you can think about um, how to decide is if you have a many to many relationship, you automatically will create duplicates because many implies that you have many of the same one. Okay. A, when you say many to one, it means the one is all unique values. No value repeats on the field you're going to join together. So keep that in mind when you're choosing between a blend and a join. I know this is a very tricky subject. So if you have specific examples or specific data sets or specific issues um, you want me to have a look at, uh, feel free to email me at... Um, or you can leave a comment or basically just reach out to me and I'm more than happy to have a look if it's something I can fix quickly or do a video on. If it's a little bit more complicated, but you still want me to kind of have a look, um, get in touch with me in email. We'll talk about kind of the process for that. But I usually reserve that for very complex problems that like take weeks of my time, something like that. Okay, but let's leave it there. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed something and it kind of shed some more light on things. If you learned something from this video, be sure to smash that like button because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Um, again, if you want to learn all things Tableau, my Udemy course is in the description below. Um, and that is it. Until next time, bye.